really excited about it. The popcorn will be fresh and the seats will be ready to go. Oh, doesn't that look good? We brought you some breaking local entertainment news on WoodTV.com earlier today. Celebration Cinemas at Studio Park, the centerpiece of the $160 million project that's bringing the first movie theaters to downtown since movies moved to the suburbs in the 1960s. It's open for business. The first movies rolled out just a few hours ago, and tonight, News H Joe LaFergie shows us some of the history that's a part of the project. In true movie theater tradition, they've also added some Easter eggs to the project. These bricks are from the original Studio 28. It's a reminder to our own staff as we walk through about what's possible and to dream big. But that's not the only piece of history. Look up to the mezzanine as you walk in the front door. This is the uh, original sign from the exterior of the Studio 28 theater. A nod to the Lokes family's past. J.D. Lokes' grandfather, Jack, opened his first theater in downtown Grand Rapids in the 1930s. But the movies followed much of the population to the suburbs in the 1960s. So Jack Lokes pioneered the urban multiplex with Wyoming's Studio 28. And now the family business has come full circle by moving back downtown. For people who have that fond memory of their childhood watching movies at Studio 28, uh, they can come in and uh, hopefully bring in some of that karma from all, all of the history there with that building. It's part of an ongoing theme at Celebration Cinemas at Studio Park that centers on not just what's showing on the screen, but the experience. Sure, a busy box office and the concession stand keeps the doors open, and yes, nowadays you can see pretty much the same level of entertainment from your living room couch. Now, if you ask about meaningful experiences watching streaming services at home, uh, people will talk about the content that they like. But there's something more intimate about seeing a movie in a theater. Tell me a meaningful experience that you've had in a movie theater. It's usually about the people they're with and the content is secondary. And for a list of showtimes, we have a link at woodtv.com. In Grand Rapids, Joel LaFergie, News 8.